Hi, in this video, we will see how we can run automation test on Chrome browser using Selenium and Python all together. And this will be the Mac version and we will use the ID PyCharm editor or PyCharm ID. But if you are planning to use some other editor like Visual Studio Code, please check my other video. Over there, I will discuss the detail. So let's get started. To automate the Chrome browser, at first we need to download the Chrome driver. We can download Chrome driver from selenium.dev website and there is a downloads uh, link. So if you click the downloads, uh, one more thing, uh, this downloads link can be changeable. Sometimes it might be some other location or it might be some uh, like three dot like menus inside it. Just go to the, uh, figure out in the web page where it is the downloads link. So just go there. And if you are in the download space, then just scroll down a little bit and you will see there is on option like platform supported by selenium it's actually almost the end of the space uh, and there is a couple of things this is browsers and operating system so what we have to do we have to download the driver for our uh, browser we are using google chrome browser so uh, to download that at first we need to click this thing and the browser uh, panel will be expanded and you, over there you will see that there is a chrome okay so chrome driver is supported by chromium posers so basically we need to download the chrome driver from here so to download this thing we have to click this documentation link and it will open uh, this thing so here you will find that there are many versions of download link uh, but <clears throat> before downloading this thing just go to the main download page so if you click this downloads it will go to the main download page and over there uh, you will see all the list of the downloads are available but here be uh, just uh, i want to mention you one thing that here you will see that there is version 83 81 80 80 and uh, this is the driver right if so basically for chrome driver 83 we have to download this thing for chrome driver 81 uh, chrome version of 81 we have to download this driver and for uh, this version we have to download this uh, this version of driver okay so when you will watch this tutorial uh, this version may not be same uh, or it will be different so don't worry uh, you, what you have to do you have to download the uh, related uh, driver based on the chrome version now the question is how we can check the version of our chrome browser so to do this uh, we can do this thing we can open a tab and then from there we can click this three dot from the right side and then it will pop up this type of menu and from there one of the menu item is help under help you will find that about google chrome okay so we have to click over there and once you click over there and you will see the version of google chrome right now it is showing that version 81 okay so to work with this version of chrome actually we have to use uh, the 81 version of chrome driver okay so i'm going to close this thing because we don't need because you already saw the version is 81 so i'm going to close this on and then i'm going to the download page of chrome driver and we will see over there there is 81 okay so if you are using google chrome version 81 please download this it is clearly mentioned so i'm going to click here to download this thing okay now this page will be appeared and there are different versions of uh, chrome driver right linux then mac windows we are using mac computer okay that's why we have to download mac 64 okay but if you are using chrome um, uh, browser in your windows environment then you have to download that one okay but this tutorial is dedicated for mac that's why i'm going to click here uh, to download uh, the mac version of chrome driver and this is for 81 version of google chrome driver and when you will actually work with this type of thing or when you will uh, set up your chrome driver uh, at first check the uh, version of the chrome if you ha see here like 100 or 102 or something like 500 then just download and that one and you can check that thing i showed you that from here and then you have to go help and from there about google chrome you can check that version and based on that you have to download so on the driver is downloaded successfully let's go to the download location so for my case the download location of that uh, that chrome driver uh, is under downloads folder and over there i will see here right chrome driver max 64 so what we have to do uh, we have to extract this thing we can double click and then it will extract it and it will give us the driver so inside it uh, it has on file and it is extracted now what we have to do we have to put this thing in our project folder okay so in our selenium uh, Project creation. Uh, I mean, when we install Selenium uh, in our PyCharm environment, uh, then at that time we created a project, right? This is called Selenium Python and it is located uh, PyCharm project Selenium Python, right? This is the whole path. So we have to go there and we have to create a folder to keep this driver. Uh, we can keep this driver anywhere from here, we can link, but uh, 
most of the time uh, we generally don't do all the companies or they do they put this thing some particular location so later uh, it will be easier like right now we are working with browser only chrome in future we might work uh, the same code we might test actually the same code uh, to test some application for firefox browser like safari browser or microsoft edge browser okay so at the time we also need to download the driver so it's better to keep a folder inside the post folder and to keep all the driver and from there to link all the driver it is actually makes our code more portable okay so if you move your code from one computer to another or on drive to another drive or on location to another location your code will not break okay so we'll go uh, this location and then we'll uh, put this file over there so let me open this uh, folder first where it is located so now uh, let's go to this particular folder and let's copy this folder to our dear okay so what we have to do uh, from this project actually from pycharm just right click over there and then you will find on option like reveal in finder just click there and it will open uh, the folder location that means all the project folder location of your computer okay so right now this is the selenium project we are seeing selenium python right uh, and this is selenium project over there okay so what you have to do we have to uh, this is the main root right selenium python right selenium python under there there is two folders something like this this is selenium python and uh, v environment okay so this is the folder actually okay so what we have to do we have to create a folder over there right click and then new folder just uh, i'm typing the folder name like drivers in future we might put uh, some other driver also like firefox driver or opera driver or uh, safari driver or edge driver that's why i put it this way name i put this name in this way so just double click of this and then we have to put it the chrome driver over there so if we go to the download location we have the driver so what we have to do we have to put this thing to here so i am doing it short uh, very shortly you can copy and paste but i'm dragging and dropping so it will move from there to here okay now uh, the driver is in that location right so we can close this thing we don't need this thing and this is the driver path okay now what we have to do uh, actually we have to uh, link uh, this driver here okay so before that actually to use the driver what we have to do we have to create a python file first okay because we want to run the script so to create a python file it is very simple so we have to click right click and new and then file but this file will be python file not this file okay so just click python file and then write a name like for our case we can type chrome then underscore driver then underscore if we are using mac computer i'm typing mac underscore like pycharm we are using pycharm dot pi you can uh, all the python extension it is uh, ends with dot pi and then hit enter key or return key okay then it will create a uh, file inside it and you will see here okay so now we have to uh, write the code to automate our test now let's start our scripting that means python script to test the uh, automation thing we will open the browser first okay so to do this thing at first we need to import the web driver so we can write code like from it will from selenium so if we type selenium then you will find selenium acl because you already installed selenium that's why it is showing selenium is there okay so i can tab and then after that what you have to do you have to import import then after what we will have to import web driver and it is showing that web driver if you press enter key it will be auto complete okay so we imported from selenium input web driver and there is no error okay now next line what we have to do we have to uh, initialize the driver right so we can use uh, driver just a variable name so what we will do web driver dot then we are using chrome driver right so what we have to do we have to type chrome then it is showing that chrome so i'm typing here chrome and then inside the chrome we have to put the path location of chrome so we can use executable path and here it is executable path and we can put it and then what we have to do we have to put the path so once we have the executable path then what we have to do we have to put the chrome driver location so right now the chrome driver location uh, is in this folder right the selenium python folder and our script is here right so what we have to do we have to go at the top so to jump from particular folder to at the root of the folder what we have to do we have to type double dot okay then after that we have to type slash okay then uh, we are in this root right and then after that we have to go driver and then we'll find this chrome driver so that's why we have to type driver then after that what we have to do we have to type uh, this thing chrome driver chrome driver okay so it is uh, showing this thing right 
so what we did right now as the script is this thing this uh, this particular uh, location so what we have to do we have to jump at the beginning and from there we have to trace where is the chrome driver that's why we use double dot dot double dot means it will go at the top and after that it will go drivers okay then this is the drivers folder and under that there is chrome driver okay so in this way we actually define the path but there is another way you can also do uh, suppose uh, this is the driver we can go right click and then right click uh, get info and then it will show you all the detailed parts you can also copy the whole path but the problem is when you will move this script to other particular computer or other particular folder or location then this code will be break okay it, it will not work it will give you error that file not found something like that okay so for that case for this reason what we have to do you have to use this relative path relative path means wherever you move this bullet it doesn't matter what you will do what it will do actually uh, it will check at the root first and from root it will go to the particular location so by this dot two two dot actually uh, it is going to the root and then after that it is going to drivers folder and after that it is going to chrome driver okay now uh, we actually define what is our driver location uh, that's fine then what we have to do we have to uh, open the browser okay so to open the browser we have on method that is get method so we have to use driver we are using this driver object then after that what we have to do we have to use this get okay and inside this get we have to put the url so the all url it uh, should start with http okay then after that colon and double slash okay then www.google.com you can put any website also but for uh, first tutorial uh, i'm using google.com later we will actually use some other website okay to so type uh, this thing that means it will uh, it will go to this browser and the chrome browser and then after that it will open get method it will open this url okay so our script is ready and uh, now we can run this thing so to run this thing we can do this here we can actually click this uh, triangle green color uh, symbol to run or we can right click and then we can choose run chrome driver mac by pycharm this is the actually fi uh, file name right by pycharm okay this is the thing okay so just right uh, just click on top of it and it will start running uh, this is script and it will open browser and it will open once it is open then it goes to google.com okay so using this script actually we can open this thing easily right so in this way basically you can actually uh, create your first script uh, using uh, python and selling them all together and this is on mac computer and we use PyCharm ID. In the next video, actually, I will use Visual Studio Code to write the similar type of script. That means similar means I will write the same script, but the path will be changed. Okay, I will show you how to do that in the next video. So thank you for watching. So I think uh, by watching this video, you are able to run the automation test on Chrome browser using Selenium and Python. And this is the Mac version, and we use PyCharm ID. So hopefully by watching this video, you are able to do this thing. And if you feel this video is helpful, please hit the like button and share with others. And also if you are new to our channel or if you never subscribed till now, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching. See you on the next video tutorial.